meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Very gusty winds at Lambeau Field for the game today. Those winds ushering in colder temperatures that we'll be dealing with the next couple of days. Here's a look at your seven-day temperature trend. Our normal high is in the lower 40s. Tomorrow and Tuesday, we will be looking at highs only in the 30s. After that, we are going to start to warm back up again. In fact, some 50s return before cooler conditions make their way back into the area for this upcoming weekend. Right now, we are looking at 30s across all of northeast Wisconsin, with temperatures ranging from the lower 30s across the far northwest to the mid and upper 30s elsewhere. In Green Bay, it is cloudy and it's still windy. Winds still gusting to 40 miles per hour. The temperature is 35 degrees. In Appleton, it is 34 with winds gusting between 30 and 40 miles per hour. And when you combine temperatures in the 30s with winds gusting up to around 40 miles per hour, we're looking at wind chills that are now in the 20s. It feels like 26 degrees in Manitowoc, and it currently feels like 25 in Fond du Lac. Along with the gusty winds, we had some rain across the area this morning, maybe a few wet snowflakes mixing in on the backside as it came to an end. The strong storm that has provided us with these gusty winds today and the precipitation is now pulling away from the state. We'll see a weak ridge of high pressure build in overnight before our next weather maker moves in for tomorrow afternoon. You can see the colder air coming in behind this system. Temperatures only in the 20s here across Minnesota, 29 in Minneapolis, 23 in International Falls. We're not going to be that cold, but temperatures will be below normal for Monday and Tuesday. I'm forecasting highs tomorrow to be mainly in the mid to upper 30s. We're going to start with maybe a little bit of sunshine, but as that next system moves in, we're going to see some showers, and it looks like they will be in the form of primarily snow. So a batch of snow showers making their way across the viewing area during the afternoon. There could be a few raindrops mixing in, but for the most part, it's going to be some heavy, wet snow. Accumulations are not going to be heavy, but we could see some minor dustings of uh, backyards and front yards across northeast Wisconsin. You can see that the computer forecast model is suggesting that uh, a dusting to around a half an inch or so is possible. As we head into Tuesday, behind that system, we'll break back into some sunshine, but it is going to be chilly with high temperatures only in the lower to mid 30s. So tonight, mostly cloudy skies. Overnight lows will be in the upper 20s to around 30. Tomorrow, maybe a little sunshine early, then clouding over with some snow showers. A few rain showers are possible, but once again, mainly snow. Minor accumulations cannot be ruled out. A dusting to around a half an inch or so. My three-degree guarantee for tomorrow is 39. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to We All Rise. And we did that yesterday. I forecast a high of 46, and the actual high temperature was 46 degrees. Sunshine returns on Tuesday, 34. Sun and clouds on Wednesday, mostly cloudy and warmer on Thursday. Highs getting in the 50s. Then a cold front moves through. We'll cool down a little bit for Friday before our next system rolls in for the weekend with the chance for some rain or maybe a mixture of rain and snow. Ryan? All right, thanks, Cameron. Good to see you on a Sunday, too, by the way. Well, this nation is very divided, and that division continues. Next, see how protesters clashed over the results of the election.